Good evening. My name is Eileen Che, Phi Theta Kappa, Chapter Advisor and Director of Transfer Affairs. I'd like to welcome you to the 16th Annual Phi Theta Kappa Induction Ceremony. This is a special ceremony to honor you for your outstanding academic achievement. It is our good fortune that you have chosen BCC to further your education. Your presence enhances and enriches the lives of all the members of the BCC community. At this time, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Vice President of Academic Affairs, Greg Satharis. Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs, Anthony Bucci. Associate Vice President of Enrollment Services, Kathy Garganta. <laughs> Director of Sustainability and Green Energy Program, Megan Abella Bowen. <laughs> Phi Theta Kappa Faculty Advisor and Assistant Professor of History, Donald Kilgus. Phi Theta Kappa Student Representative, Kevin Newby. At this time, I would like to invite Vice President Satharis to come to the podium. Thank you very much, Eileen. On behalf of President Spraga, who is out of state tonight, he sends his, uh, to keep him away from an event like this uh, takes a lot, and he is uh, in Washington, D.C. at a meeting, so he was very unfortunate, uh, unfortunately not able to be here, but he asked to send his regards, and certainly that he wishes uh, he could be here. Uh, to our Phi Theta Kappa inductees, just a few, uh, just a couple of minutes of comments on behalf of President Spraga. Uh, what you've accomplished here is truly remarkable. You stand here to be congratulated tonight on being uh, among the highest achieving students that we have here at BCC, but you've done so at tremendous uh, odds in the face of odds, some, some of them set by yourself, some of them set by others, but you've persevered through that. Uh, the great Brazilian educational theorist Paulo Freire expressed this in a way, he called it a limit situation, and then he described limit situations as two different types. The brick wall type of limit, so you're told that you can't do anything and you don't see a way beyond it, and then the other type is a place where he described it as a place where possibilities begin. But for you to see a limit as a place where possibilities begin for yourself, you've got to have what he refers to as a limit act. And you have performed limit acts, and your loved ones and your classmates and your teachers have performed limit acts that have allowed you to see beyond those your entire time here at BCC. So as you leave BCC, please understand uh, what you've accomplished here. Not everybody has always stood up to you and said, you can do it. There have been people who have told you you can't do it. There have been some times, perhaps on your own account, where you've told yourself that you can't do it. But the fact that you're here tonight, the fact that you believe in yourself, that your family believes in you, that your loved ones, your classmates, your teachers do, that's really what's important. So as you go forward from BCC, make sure you understand that every single uh, person here in this room believes in you, believes that you can continue to take those limit situations and perform the limit acts so that you look at every single limit that other people and, you, and yourself, that you set for yourself and make sure you understand that's a place only where possibilities begin. Take that with you from BCC wherever you go. So congratulations on your achievement here tonight. I would now like to offer, uh, could I uh, please have, I get the honor uh, of uh, awarding the Phi Theta Kappa Distinguished Service Award to Megan Abella Bowen. Megan Abella Bowen joined the staff at Bristol Community College in 2007 as Director of the Sustainability and Green Energy Program. 
She assisted hundreds of students in their pursuit of environmental, marine, green, and sustainable technology education. Megan has been a tireless booster for the college, attending countless outreach and recruitment activities throughout southeastern Massachusetts. She has worked with students at all levels from elementary to graduate school. She has made it her mission to make students in our region aware of the life-changing opportunities BCC has to offer. Megan has taken on the challenge of recruiting and advising women and minorities who are underrepresented in many STEM fields. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. She initiated a local marine technology competition and trained inner city educators and volunteers at community organizations, including the Girl Scouts and the YMCA, to encourage earlier and greater participation in STEM-related activities for these populations. Here at BCC, she is one of our most student-centered staff members. She makes sure that new STEM students, many she personally recruited, are well prepared for college. She has individually advised and mentored hundreds of STEM students. She enriches the student experience here at BCC with numerous guest speakers, site visits, and opportunities to participate in well-regarded competitions and service learning projects. BCC's ROV team made it to the international competition in its very first year. The engineering club under her guidance was the first BCC club to receive the President's Volunteer Service Award, and that's President Obama, not President Spraga. The premier volunteer award program in the United States. She is also the advisor for two student clubs that help to recruit and support women seeking STEM educations. Not only is Megan BC's go-to person for the college's STEM initiatives, she is also involved in STEM education across the region. She serves on multiple STEM advisory boards and has provided numerous professional development opportunities for high school and community college educators. She is one of the main reasons BCC is seen as a leader in STEM education across the Commonwealth. She was recently selected to participate in the Massachusetts Community College Leadership Academy. Additionally, she has received the Scepter and Scroll Award for excellence and contribution to the college. It is my pleasure to award Megan Abella Bowen the 2014 Phi Theta Kappa Distinguished Service Award. Thank you very much. Um, this is a, quite an honor and I appreciate it. And they told me I could say a couple of words. I'm sure that made some of them you know, shake a little bit because when I get a hold of the podium. Um, but basically what I wanted to say is I had wonderful folks when I was in college who took me under their wing, who helped me to see the potential that I had. Many times when I maybe didn't feel like I had that potential in me at that moment. And it was because of them that I then did other things that allowed me to move further on in my education. And I feel like it's my opportunity to pay it forward and be that same kind of individual for the students on our campus. And I hope that my previous mentors feel that I've done them an honor, and I hope that the students that I work with feel like they are gaining something that helps them to see their potential in the future as well. So thank you very much. Associate Vice President Anthony Uchi. I am pleased to present these candidates for membership to our society. These students have fulfilled all requirements for membership, and I recommend them for acceptance into the Beta Eta Phi chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Kevin Newby. I have in my hand a torch, symbolic of knowledge, which is the servant of wisdom. This is the emblem of Phi Theta Kappa. The gold field refers to the golden opportunity available to us all. Since gold is the most noble of metals, it has further significance to our society. 
for it represents the nobility attained by those who achieve intellectual leadership. Across the gold field is a black band. It represents the three ideals which bands us together. Shining through the black enamel background are three Greek letters, which are the initials of three Greek words, meaning wisdom, aspiration, and purity. Behind the band is a wreath. On the one side, composed of oak leaves. On the other, laurel. The oak leaves stand for stability and strength of character. The graceful curling leaves of the oral of the laurel signify achievement and success, all attributes for membership in our society. Above the band is the representation of the head of Athena, the goddess of learning. In the base appear the Greek letters meaning light, the light of knowledge, and learning, the common ideal for members of Phi Theta Kappa. This badge stands as a symbol of the high idealism of our organization and membership in our select group. The purpose of our organization is to foster among its members a spirit of devotion to the hallmarks of Phi Theta Kappa, leadership, service, and fellowship. Associate Vice President Kathy Garganta. The official induction. I will call out each inductee's name, and when your name is announced, please come to the induction table and pick up your candle. Please remain standing when you return to your seat. Thank you. Candace Levesque. Wait, wait, wait. Diane Smith. Denise DeLeo. Ines Lorio. Lisa Ross. Sonia Ferreira. Angela Politano. Richard Paradise. Robert Moss III. Renata Garcia. Michael Jakes. Adam Kitchen. Graham Gisherman. Dawn Aruda Darlene Tacho Gail Shuko Ryan Santos Brittany Jackson. Zachary Dumas. Reed McKinney. Catherine Thornhill. Pamela Amaral Lima. Amanda Lucia.
Angelica Cabral. Michelle Alt. Judy Coleman. Joshua Silva. Ashley Correa. Veronica Amorin. Jordan Shavs. Beryl Oliveira. Katrina Simmons. Nicholas Callan. Anastasia Marie Tabora. Danielle Letterman. Jennifer Kersley. Brandon Morrow. Courtney LeBlanc. Janlyn Bentley. Kenneth Craig Jr. Owen Galvin. Thomas Gilio. Courtney D. Medeiros. Tasha Levesque. Bruce Belanger. Olivia Marks. Kathleen Benavides. Jody Thatcher. Jamie Williams. Jennifer Canberra. Myra Ingagiola. Brandon George. Michael Adano. Amanda Almeida. Brandon Wong. Cynthia Raposa. Kelvin Hernandez. Nathaniel Gula. Brandon Charles. Antonio Borges. Bachman. Thank you. Elizabeth Smith Bachman. Jason Harris. Thank you. Scott Shaw. Toast. Toast. Thank you. 
Catherine Tost. Catherine Barboza. Portillo. Evelyn Portillo. Julie Carlson. Kendra Raposo. Heidi Campbell. Kathleen Barrier. Christine Ford. Michael Silva, Jr. Brendan Fernandez. Misty Fields. Michelle Silveria. Ayla McCool. And Kevin Newby. Now that the standard and ideals of this organization have re revealed to you, we ask you to recite the pledge which admits you into complete fellowship. Please repeat after me. I, state your name, do solemnly promise on this day of to uphold the standards of Phi Theta Kappa and to make this object and aim foremost in my mind, and I do solemnly pledge allegiance to my fellow members, and promise to aid them in all worthy endeavors. It is my pleasure to welcome you into the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and the <laughs> Sure. So again, it's my pleasure to honor you into the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and the lively fellowship of scholars it affords. Uh, I salute you for your accomplishments. I charge you to explore always the truth and to dedicate yourself to the cultivation of the well-reasoned life, a prelude to service and honor. Please be seated, you may blow out your candles. Now I'd like to introduce Professor Kilgus, who would like to say a few words. Good evening. I am incredibly aware that I'm the last person standing between you and the goodies outside in the brick area, so I will keep it very, very brief. It's so nice to have an evening like this, when we can all come together as the BCC family and celebrate student achievement. And I would like to congratulate all of the inductees for everything that you have accomplished here at BCC. Your accomplishments have been the result of an enormous amount of hard work, dedication, 
sacrifice, and I know many of you would not be here tonight if it was not for the support of your families. We all owe our parents, our spouses, and children so many thanks for encouraging us to achieve our goals when times were difficult or when we doubted ourselves. So I'd like to take one moment here and just please to recognize our parents, family, children that are here in the audience with us. When I think about Phi Theta Kappa students, one of the first words that comes to my mind is dedication. You come to class each day while juggling the great responsibilities of classes, work, family, college activities. You are masters of time management as you balance all of the demands on your time and energy. And despite all the pressures, you willingly share of yourselves both inside and outside of the classroom. We're all inspired by your example as self-motivated lifetime learners who embrace learning with a passion and enthusiasm that is remarkable to witness. As you proceeded along your educational journey, I'm sure that many of your decisions have been influenced by your family or by your faith or by something that many of you might consider to be serendipity or destiny. During the midst of the Great Depression, remember I am a history guy, so I have to get this. During the midst of the Great Depression, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt stated the following. He said, quote, there is a mysterious cycle in human events. To some generations, much is given. Of other generations, much is expected. This generation of Americans has a rendezvous with destiny. You also have an opportunity through organizations like Phi Theta Kappa to not only make your destiny but at the same time to help shape the destiny of others. When you received the invitation to join Phi Theta Kappa, you also received an invitation to get involved, to better the college community. And I realize that we all have many responsibilities, both inside and outside of the classroom, as I spoke of earlier. But the college community, your college community, is only as vibrant as the members make it. Therefore, as the faculty advisor here at BCC, I ask all of you to consider becoming as involved as your time, your interests, and other commitments will allow. Your involvement can consist of anything from running for a student government position, to participating in a civic engagement project, to serving as a mentor to new students. Remember that whatever you do helps to fulfill the hallmarks of Phi Theta Kappa, scholarship, leadership, service, and fellowship, now and in the future. So I encourage you to become involved, be a role model, be a mentor. In other words, pay it forward. Thank you, congratulations, and enjoy the rest of your evening. As we con conclude our ceremony, I would like to once again congratulate you on your outstanding achievement and invite everyone to join us in the lobby for refreshments. Please ask that you would remain seated until the students have left the auditorium. Thank you so much.